morning and welcome to Wholesome Roots. Well, I'd like to say that I am working on what's behind me. Mulch that desperately needs to be moved to the garden. But I probably will not have time for that once again today. Today, I've got to hustle and bustle to get all my chores done this morning. And then I have a couple of customers stopping by for eggs and stuff. And then we're going to go to my friend Martha's house and we're going to go in the pool and we're going to have a fish fry and it's going to be a great 4th of July celebration, even though it's the 3rd of July. We're doing it today. So it'll be great fun and I might even go off into her woods and find more mushrooms because I've come a little bit obsessed with her forest because it's full of mushrooms. <laughs> All right, because we have special plans this evening and Ryan's gonna try to leave work and go straight to our friend's house, that means I've gotta get busy with these chicken chores that he normally takes care of. So I gotta make sure everybody's got food and water and if anybody needs to be moved, move them to fresh ground so they have stuff to peck and scratch at. So I've talked a lot about how difficult this rain has been on the garden where everything just I haven't been able to get to it and the weeds are growing faster than the garden but something that it's even harder on is the poultry take a look at this i just moved this um coop chicken tractor whatever you want to call it over from this spot this is where they were moved to yesterday this is literally one day you can see they've been moved every day and it is just horrible it just because of the rain it just mats everything down and they can't even enjoy what was growing there i mean there's grass still right there but it's so covered in mud and poop it's no good for them anymore <laughs> but i moved them to a new spot and gave them some food and they're super happy and I can't believe how many rooster tails I see in this group of chicks. They're not really chicks anymore, but you know, I still call them our chicks because they're the youngest birds we have right now. But like there are 99% roosters, guys. I'm not even kidding. I, I think I've seen one hen in here out of all of these chicks we hatched. That's not cool. Oh, not cool at all. On yesterday's vlog, I had somebody comment and say that they thought they saw lamb's quarters growing in the garden. And I said, no, but I do have a section of lamb's quarters that we purposely didn't mow. Lamb's quarter is a wild edible food. It is delicious raw or cooked, and it is very high nutritional value. It tastes kind of like spinach, just a little bit earthier than that. But this right here, this giant plant that you see blocking the view of the barn. <laughs> you see the barn there? Sort of. Well, the reason why you can't see it all the way is because this beautiful plant has been left to grow. And it is delicious. You can just pick the leaves and add them to your salad. You can put them in a stir fry. You can do whatever you want. You can eat all of it. 
And the really cool part is the um, seeds are edible too. The seeds are actually um, related to, what is it? That grain that you buy at the health food store. I think it's quinoa, am I right? If any of you guys know if that's the relation that I'm thinking of, please uh, correct me if I'm wrong. But I thought that that was pretty cool when I found that out. These crazy baby ducks heard me coming a mile away and started quacking. They're funny because if I get any closer, they're gonna run away from me. But then they run to the food. And Ryan finally got the zip ties around it so I can move it easier. So I'm gonna go ahead and move it first because the rain we got last night it turned their whole space into mud. You see how big my babies have gotten? I can't believe it. They are so beautiful though. And these are all anaconda except for this big brown one closest to us. That one is the only silver apple yard. So they're still a little young to tell male and female, but we are hoping to have at least one drake so that we can breed anaconda to share with other people who want to have that heritage breed. And they like their food. They've upgraded to the pellet. Um, we give them chick starter mixed in usually, but we're out of chick starter right now. Ryan's getting it on the way home, so I wanted to get them some food. So there's no chick starter mixed into it this time. But that's what we've been doing lately because they get so full. I mean, they don't get full. The chick starter just goes right through them. So the layer pellets are lasting them a little better. Aren't they cute? I just love ducks. Who knew ducks were going to be one of my favorite in the poultry? Hello, are you excited? What is this egg? Why is your egg in the middle of the pen? Don't you know? Here, let's come over here, guys. Yeah. Eat some of those leaves while you're at it, please. These goofy ducks have made their own puddle. Look at this. That was not... They did that. That was not a big hole full of water until they made it that way. They love playing in the mud. They're like pigs. Uh-oh. I just noticed that my stray dill that I have over here in the garden, that used to be a garden, this self-seeded itself, is uh, going to seed. So I need to probably harvest some of those heads so that I can replant it and put it in some pickles. Yum, yum. All right, I think that's pretty much it. I gotta go in, make sure I've got all the stuff in the pool bag, all the stuff in the diaper bag, and anything we might need for dinner. And head on over to Martha's for a great time. I'm excited. Hope you all have had a great day. Hope you've enjoyed watching. Please like, share, comment down below, subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll see you next time on Wholesome Roots.